Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. We're fewer than 40 hours away from Donald Trump's inauguration, and the John Lewis led boycott of Friday's festivities continues to grow by the moment. As of right now, at least 68 House Democrats say they are ditching Trump's inauguration. Some say they oppose his policies, others insist his entire presidency, the man himself, is illegitimate. One of those participating in the boycott is newly elected Congressman Dwight Evans of Pennsylvania, and he joins us tonight live from Philadelphia. Congressman, thanks all for coming on. Oh, thank you very much. So uh, you just got elected, and now you're boycotting. How come? Um, a couple of reasons. First and foremost, uh, I believe that um, the president-elect doesn't share the same aspect around the, uh, the Affordable Care Act, which is basically for the constituents that I represent, is very important. Secondly, mm -hmm. about the Russian hacking. I believe that also should be taken serious, and it should be investigated. And thirdly, about the issue about Congressman John Lewis. Here in the city of Philadelphia, he received the Liberty Medal celebration of the Constitution right. a couple of weeks ago. Very same medal that President Mandela, Colin Powell, Jimmy Carter, a number of other people received that. So basically, look, at the end of the day, um, the president-elect will be sworn in. Uh, but, you know, this is the opportunity for me to send that message that I'm not happy or satisfied. Right. But I understand that, and I understand your reasoning. So you, you don't agree with Trump on uh, Obamacare, and you're concerned about the, the Russian interference with the election and the John Lewis Correct. spat bothered you. Just, just for Correct. my interest's sake, w would anyone who disagrees with John Lewis on a political issue get the same treatment from you? Well, I mean... Look, John Lewis is a hero in this country. He should not have been attacked the way he was attacked. It's clear that if you look at the kind of tone. Well, I mean, he's a congressman, I, I, but... And I'm not, I'm not attacking but, but, John but Lewis. He, I'm just wondering. I mean, he's an elected official, and he has been for 30 years. And so if I disagree no question with of, something that he says, does that make me a villain? Well, but, 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 to say, but to say that he has not demonstrated any action, I believe that's the wrong message. He has demonstrated okay. a lot of action in terms of the things he has done. I mean, to make those right. kind of charges are ridiculous to say those things about John Lewis and what he has meant. I just think well, those things are over the board. And I think right. as a person who's going to become the next president of the United States, in my particular view, we should talk about trying to bring people together rather than separate them. Right. And I think, I think it's a fair point. I, I don't think that the president-elect should have tweeted that. But my understanding is that he was making a statement about Congressman Lewis's district, which is not a rich district, it's a district with a lot of problems, and he was saying, look, you represent this district, and you have for all these years, and it's still in rough shape. Maybe that says something. And so I wanted to ask you, since you also represent a, a heavily poor district in Philadelphia, if you think boycotting the inauguration will help your constituents, and if so, how? Well, look, 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 at the end of the day, he will be president of all Americans. Right. The election is over, and the reality is we should work together. You don't work together if you're president of the United States by attacking a member of the Congress. I've been in the legislature for 36 years. Legislators and executives should work together. I've never seen a situation where the chief executive attacks the legislature before they get out of the box. I have worked right. with Republican governors, Governor Corbett, Governor Ridge, Governor Thornburg, right here in Pennsylvania. And we work together. We got things done. It's well, not sure. to say we always had to agree on policy, but at the end of the day, the name of the game is to get something done for people, well, then, putting people first. I, I, th I, I don't believe right. that that's what he has done. But I, I wonder if you've ever seen a situation where legislators have attacked the executive even before he takes office. I mean, it does sort of go uh, both ways, doesn't it? Well, I don't I mean, And that's, what, that's well, what you're doing. You're saying, I'm not even going to go to your inauguration because I so disapprove well, of you, and he's not even the president yet. Well, as, as I said again, I, I'm there and meeting my obligation responsible in, in the United States Congress. I work in the, in the 65 days I've been there. I've been working together to make a difference. I'll say this, right. look, President-elect Trump will be sworn in on Friday at 12 o'clock. Once he's sworn in, then maybe the fact of the matter, he will see, he will, he will take a different attitude once he officially okay. has the position as president. And then maybe well, when he takes that different attitude, we can find, find some common ground to get some things done. He talks about infrastructure. I'm a right. strong advocate for infrastructure. I need, that needs to happen. Roads, okay, well, bridges, then, airports, those kind of well, things. Well, that's, a, that's a good point. So you have a, a majority black district. It's one of the most heavily African-American congressional districts in the country. The Trump campaign released some time ago what they're calling the New Deal for Black America, the 10-point plan. What did you think of that? 
I haven't really seen it. Um, I mean, I'll be open to see exactly what he's talking wait, about. Wait, wait, wait. What, no, what do you mean? Well, wait, wait, wait. Stop, wait, stop, stop a second. No. What do you mean you haven't seen it? He, the president have not elect seen, who's going to be president let me, on let Friday repeat. just to release let, let, a 10-point plan let me from repeat. majority black districts, and you haven't seen it? Why? Let me repeat. Let me repeat it again to you. If I've seen it, I'd be more than happy to discuss it to you. I have not seen it. So I'm not going to make up something that I have not seen. No, no, I don't, well, I'm, I'm not asking I have, you to. I, but, but I, I have wait, a plan. Hold on. Wait, 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 let's just stop for one sec. Why wouldn't you have seen that? I mean, you represent a majority black well, district. He has may, a very may, specific may, plan may, for may black Americans. Don't you think because, you should have read that? May, 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 maybe because he has not provided it to me. Because he get, he hasn't provided. What do you mean? Seen what do you mean it's it? on the I'm, internet. He's been what, talking about it in speech what, after speech. What, what, I mean, you may not just agree what, with it or not, but, could, but why he, wouldn't he be, you make an be, effort to find out what he's he saying? Could, he could be. Well, that's mutual. That's mutual. That's I agree, mutual. but but you're a sitting that, member of Congress. And he has a it's plan not, that affects your not, district, and you haven't read it. Well, I mean, come on. It hasn't come. It has. It cost. It hasn't come up for a vote. It hasn't come up for a vote. Well, he's not in the house yet. So you don't. Well, but okay, you, wait, you, wait, just stated, wait, no. you just stated okay. he, you just stated he has a plan, and I'm saying to you specifically, I'd be more than happy. He's the first one to say, what, what and I believe you Congress, support What I'm saying is, look, I'm not trying to convince you that Trump is great. I'm not here to make the case for Trump. I'm merely saying that you're boycotting him on the grounds that he is a bad guy and maybe not an illegitimate, an illegitimate president. And I'm no, saying he has a lot I'm of things I'm to say. You're no, boycotting no, him no, in no, any case. Please don't, put saying, words, look, he, please don't put words in my mouth. What, you already explained why you're boycotting him. I'm merely saying, well, why no, haven't you taken... I said these specifically... On, stop for one Simple I, question. I said these why specifically on health Go ahead. Why haven't you taken the time to find out what he's saying? And let me just run through I a few of these things. Well, no, well, you, let, me you tell you, let me tell you what this has you want me to tell you what he said. You, you want me to tell you what he said? No, you yeah. no, you want me to tell you what he said? He, he, what he specifically well, you don't know said because to you the black read community? The document. Well, no, I read his well, yes. comments. Okay, I read so his comments. Where are you on now, school you choice? That's comments? number one. Your your constituents I'm are put, overwhelmingly I'm, for I'm it. You, Carson, you should do your research before you chat. I'm for charter schools. I started a go. charter school. It's called the West Wayne Charter School, and it has a union-based charter school. So right, that, if you do right. your research and find out, I led the charge here in Pennsylvania that's perfect. with that, Tom Ridge who did that. Hold on, slow down. I'm finding well, common no, ground between you and the new president. The, well, uh, how about well, this? But no, no, let's talk policy for well, a second. What about the health no, plan? I'm, let's talk about the health plan. You disagree, you health disagree, plan. You disagree on the issue. That's true. We have, we have, can you, no, no, can you stop for one second? That's important. Okay. Listen for a second. We You're trying to filibuster and I'm trying to ask you questions? No, I'm trying to get you to hear what I have to say. Go ahead, I'm listening. Okay, so I'm just trying to tell you about things that this new president, who you disagree with, has said and ask you, do you agree or not? So he says, and I'm quoting, we'll empower cities and states to seek a federal disaster designation for blighted communities in order to initiate the rebuilding of infrastructure. Are you against that? I'm not against, I just said to you earlier that was for infrastructure. I stated that clearly. Up We're up. for financial reform to make it easier for young African Americans to get credit. Probably for that too, I would think, right? Well, hey, I'm open for that too. There you go. Look, I'm not, I'm not here to say Trump's going to do all this. I'm not here to say Trump's great. I'm merely here to say, you're just telling me you want to find common ground. You haven't bothered exactly. to read what the guy has said. I'm throwing some no, things at you and so, suggesting that maybe so you've got more in common than you think. Me, try not to put words in my mouth is what I'm saying. Oh, and I, I don't mean to do I that. Said, I'm just I, asking no, you questions. I said, it to you, I said to you very specifically, the Affordable Health Care Act. For example, we have a hospital called Temple right. Hospital which is like a safety net hospital. They have 8,000 employees. Yeah. There All will right. be a direct effect if the act is repealed. There's okay. 8,000 well, people that work well, in that we'll hospital. We'll find out. It's just That's it's a, a matter of seeking complaint. common ground. Yep, no, nope, I'm not saying it's exactly. not. Congressman, great to, great to see you tonight. Hey, I guess I thank see you, you very Friday. much for inviting me, Tasha. Appreciate Thanks. that. Hey, look.